Hello guys, if you are new to this channel, I am introducing myself. I am Soham. I am a third year medical student reading in Kolkata Medical College in Hospital. So, today our new topic is Diabetes mellitus. Now, we are all concerned about this fact that diabetes is uh, increasing day by day in uh, not only in the developed but also in the underdeveloped and developing countries in the world. So, now let's start. Diabetes mellitus. It is the most common endocrine vessel. So, it is an endocrine disorder. Okay. Criteria for diagnosis of the diabetes mellitus. Now, these are the two criteria which are having that is fasting blood sugar, which will be less than equal to 126 mg per day, and postprandial blood sugar will be greater than equal to 200 mg per day. Now, what are the types of diabetes mellitus? We have two types type 1 and type 2. Now, in type 1, what are the features of the type 1? It is immune dysregulation. For pathology, in case of if we if we try to explain it from the pathological point of view, it is insulitis. It can develop at any age. It can develop at any age. That is, uh, uh, we should not be uh, more aware that we that our parents are having diabetes mellitus one. So we must have diabetes one and that is not it's not concerned so it is it can occur at any age and we should not bother about the family history having diabetes now 70 to 80 percent of the beta cell gets destroyed before the patient presents with the clinical manifestation now now it is not naturally it is normally silent so most of the cells can get destroyed before a patient comes to the OPD and presents, presents with some of the clinical manifestations. What is the clinical manifestations? Increase, that is, if we test for the uh, diabetes mellitus or for the glucose level, the glucose, the glucose level will be abnormally high, greater than 126 for fasting and greater than 200 for postprandial blood sugar. Now, family history not significant and also it is the most important thing is that HLA association is positive. That is, HLA association is, is present in diabetes 1. Now, we are coming to a most, inter most of the interesting fact and uh, some important thing is that the honeymoon phase of diabetes 1, diabetes type 1, we haven't heard yet, right? What is what she is speaking that honeymoon phase of type 1? Now, here actually patients remain asymptomatic when in between the time duration when 70 to 100 percent of the cells get destroyed in that time the patients remain always asymptomatic. Now we are proceeding with the type 2 diabetes mellitus. It is polygenic and multifactorial. 70 to 90 percent concordance in identical twins. Insulin resistance followed by dextrate 6 dextrate 6, 6, 6, 6. Now, this is the main point. Insulin resistance followed by decreased secretion. Now, either of the parents and here now. HLA is less significant. We saw that HLA is most significant here in diabetes mellitus 1. But in case of diabetes mellitus 2, HLA is less significant. Now, either the parents, if either of the parents, either male or female, either mother or father, is having diabetes mellitus 2, then their offspring will have a chance of getting that diabetes mellitus 2 after 5%. And if both the pets presents, presents or have been in diabetes mellitus 2, offsprings will have a chance of getting diabetes mellitus 2 of 